I want to talk a little bit about what's under the hood of QuietCat. Here we have a 60 volt battery and an 18 FET controller. And these are two of the variables that can change. For example, you could have a 48 volt battery and a 12 FET controller and it's not as powerful. I like to think of the controller as the brains. Okay, this is the computer system that's really managing all of the power. And all of the connections of the controller are in here. They're all plug and play. So if something happens, we can check connections or we can swap connections or we can swap components. But this is the controller, this is the brains, and this is the battery. There's a few things to know. On the controller, there's a master power on off switch up here. We always leave it on, but you can turn it off. It just shuts it all off. It's like the, ult the ultimate off. It's a little red button up here that goes on and off. Now I want to talk quickly about charging your QuietCat. When you charge your QuietCat, it's important to remove the red connectors. Take them apart when you charge, okay? Because if you don't, the computer still thinks it's all still connected. And now you would take your battery charger and you would plug your battery charger in the battery and then you would plug the battery charger in the wall. And this is the best way to charge your QuietCat. 